beautiful morning out there. It's Sunday morning, about 10 minutes of 10, and we are westbound on Route 70. The winds are high again today. We're heading from Belleville, Illinois, and the Harvest Coast. And looks like a pretty nice spot. Maybe we'll shoot some, some of the scenery when we get there. As we leave Ohio, uh, Ohio says goodbye to us here in this overhead sign, and we continue our journey across Indiana. I mentioned that we were going to stay at a harvest host, and maybe many of you don't know what a harvest host is, but a harvest host is either a farm, a wineries, golf courses do it, some churches do it, where they open up their property to people who have signed up with harvest host, which is an organization, and you have an app to tell you where they are. And we found this harvest host, Turkey Hill Farm, located near Belleville, Illinois. We got in contact with him and made arrangements to stay the, the night. And we arrived, he told us where to park, and we parked our trailer. And uh, just enjoying the evening there in the farm country of southern Illinois. And one way that he earns a little bit of a living is to, he has some honeybees and sells honey and this is one of his hives I'm zooming in on out there in the, at the end of the pasture. So one of the things that we recently purchased and I'm going to show you here shortly is a little playpen for Sophie so that she can be outdoors and enjoy the outdoors but at the same time be protected from a critter or uh, from her running away which she probably would do. But she seemed to enjoy it very much. It was just a real pleasant evening. Uh, temperatures were comfortable. We, we sat outside and enjoyed the quiet of a farm in uh, Illinois. We get up the next morning and headed north on Illinois Route 15 and intersected Route 285, which took us south and across the, the Mississippi River before we intersected with route interstate route 44 to take us across the state of Missouri and here we are crossing the mighty Mississippi we uh, always enjoy crossing this river but as we head on interstate 44 we kept seeing signs for a place called Bucky's and we've been in Bucky's before when we were in Texas and really like their sandwiches so we made it a point that we were going to stop at Bucky's and I'll show you a Bucky's here shortly but there are huge convenience stores if you can call it a convenience store and uh, but we did get brisket sandwiches both of us and enjoyed them very much the fuel was fairly cheap and I don't know how many islands there are there but it's close to a hundred fuel islands and you can see it here as we walk inside and just give you a quick view around the inside of the store I don't know who this gentleman is I'm following, but uh, you, uh, you ever get near a Bucky's, make sure you stop and check it out. Give yourself a half an hour or so to look around the store because it dwarfs any convenience store that I've seen anywhere in Pennsylvania. Highlight while we were there in Springfield, Missouri, was we got to meet this couple. That's Corey and Jess of Finding Our Someday YouTube channel. I introduced myself as I was walking to dump out trash, and then later on, when we, Vicky and I, were sitting around our camper, we uh, they came over and talked to us for five to ten minutes, and it was a very special time. So if you get a chance, check them out on YouTube, Finding Our Someday. We really enjoyed our stay there at Cook's RV Park Motor Park. Right outside of Springfield, Missouri, very convenient to downtown and the Bass Pro Shops that uh, I'm going to show you uh, here in the next video. So stay tuned for that one. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you.
As I said before, please subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next one. Talk to you later.